Hello friends, this is Rezorat from Radacad. In this video, I want to talk about data agent as an introduction, what it is, how you can use it and configure it in Microsoft Fabric. How is it different from Copilot? Let's go and check it out. Generative AI such as ChatGPT, Copilot, DeepSeek, these technologies are nowadays used everywhere. Um, in Microsoft Fabric and Power BI, we also have these technologies that we can use. Of course, you can go into Power BI desktop or Power BI service. You can go to Fabric portal and use Copilot in uh, many of the places when you go and create a report, when you go and write your DAX expressions, when you write your SQL expressions, in you, if you are writing a notebook code, in many of these places you can go and use it. And Copilot understands your data model and answers uh, the questions based on your data model, which is a great feature. Now, uh, there are certain scenarios that you can also infuse some of your human understanding, some of the business knowledge into Copilot so that you can get better results from it. And that is where data agent comes into play. Uh, at the time of recording this video, data agent is still preview. I'm switching to my screen to show you this. Uh, first thing is that you have to go to admin portal and enable three options to get to use this data agent. So it would be going to the setting option here when you are in Power BI website or Fabric website, then go to admin portal. This is something that the tenant admin can do. Uh, then if you go and search for Copilot, you'll find some Copilot settings. The three settings that needs to be enabled for this feature to work, uh, for the data agent to work is this, this, and this. Once you have these three settings uh, enabled, at least for the people who want to, who you want to have this capability to go and use data agent, then creation of the data agent would be possible. Without these, you may be able to see data agent. When you click on create, you will get an error saying that the object cannot be created, something like that, which, relate, which is related to these three settings. This option will be enabled by default, as you see in the Microsoft message here, it says that it will be enabled by default by 17th of December. Uh, so if you are watching it beforehand, you need to make sure that you need to enable these. If you are watching it after that and you don't want these settings to be enabled, you have to go and disable them. So once you have enabled these, you'll go to your workspace. This has to be a fabric capacity or premium capacity backend workspace. In my case, it is. You can see that in the workspace setting, in the license info. When I go there, I'll be able to see that this is a fabric capacity license. So um, the first starting point would be this, that I have a lake house at the moment. This lake house has some sample data. It has a customer table, it has a product table, uh, and it has a sales table. And I want to get Copilot to answer some of my questions about the data, like for example, which products are frequently bought together, what are my best seller products, things like that. So these are my three tables, as you can see, customer table, facts, sales, and product. The product table itself has different uh, categories of the products in it. So when I go to uh, SQL analytics endpoint of the lake house, um, and I run this query, you can see that this query actually returns uh, products that are only in the clothing category. This organization, this company sell bikes and products related to bikes. So categories could be bikes, could be other things as well. So if I just get everything from the product table, you'll see that we have uh, different categories, accessories, clothing, bikes, and all of that. So I'm going to show you how Copilot first responds and how I can change the way that this Copilot response works. So I'll go to my workspace. I'll start by creating a new item and I'll search for data agent here. As you can see, it is a still preview at the time of creating this video. I'll go ahead and create one. I'm going to just name this agent 
101, let's say. I'm showing you a very basic example of data agent. Um, when you open the data agent, the first step for you is to connect to the data source. And you can have multiple data sources. In my case, I can connect to my lake house, warehouse, as you can see, uh, semantic models, KQL databases. All of these are possible as the source for this. In my case, I'm just going to use the lake house I just showed you. So when I go and add the lake house, you will see that it will come with the tables that is in it. Then you can go and choose the tables, like you might have 10 tables in your semantic model or in your lake house, you might just need to choose two of them or three of them for the type of questions you are um, going to enhance the response. Let's say the question that I'm asking now is something like this. Uh, which products are, pr uh, which products which products are frequently bought together. Um, and this is, a, mm, this is a simple question that what happens is that Copilot is going to uh, evaluate every sales order and based on the products that are in the same order, it comes up with a query, querying the data source uh, and coming up with a result. Here is the result as you can see it. Uh, so these are the products that frequently bought together, water bottle with uh, bottle cage, or for example, tire tube with mountain tire, things like that. Um, and if I expand this, if I go to this part that says ex uh, steps completed, and if I expand that, I should also see the query generated by Copilot, which is great. For this, I don't need data agent. This already works. If someone goes to this Copilot section in Fabric and they ask this question, they will get exactly the same response without uh, needing to create a data agent. Now what data agent can do for me is that it can help to extend this, to enhance it. Let's consider this scenario that in this business, in this organization, if someone goes and asks question about products, they don't mean every product in this table with every category, they mean a specific category, the clothing category to be exact. They may not say that, go and show me uh, which clothing products frequently bought together, but when they say which products bought together, they mean to say that. And I want to infuse this information to Copilot, uh, which is exactly what data agent gives me that ability. I'll go to the setup section here. Uh, in the setup section, I can go to the data source instruction and I can add some instruction. One of these instructions could be something like this. So I'm going to just put this message over here saying that when asked about products, use products that their English product category name is clothing, just like that. Uh, and that is good enough for me to infuse this information to um, data agent and behind that to Copilot saying that, well, anytime you get a question about products, consider this filter always in it. So I'm going to use the same question again and answering it here. Here I can actually test the result. This just responded with the results that I've been looking for. If I just replied, uh, if I just repeat the question again so that you see that this time it's also considering that um, for the products that are in the clothing category. Now you can see that these products are all in the clothing category, cap and the jersey. Uh, or jersey with the gloves. And if I go to, um, to the place that this analyzed that, I'll click on this, uh, expand it. And in this place, when I look at the expression, the SQL code for it, I'll see that it is considered clothing for both of these products because I mentioned that products that are frequently bought together. So it is trying to find two products frequently bought together. So as easy as this, I just managed to create an instruction for my copilot and mm, infuse this information to the copilot that if someone goes and asks about products, what we are actually looking for is closing products. Once I set this, um, then I can go and publish it. Another thing that uh, we are able also to do is to go to example queries. Sometimes like just 
providing the prompt saying something may not be good enough for Copilot to understand it. So in those cases, you might go to example queries. You might go and add example query and say, for example, when set which products and here provide a SQL query that says, for example, select products from this table when their category is equal to closing uh, and you can add this. Uh, in my case, I don't need to do that because uh, the instruction was clear. This understands it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish it. Now, once you publish this and I'm going to also add some in, uh, information about closing products when I'm publishing it. Once you publish this, then uh, users don't need to go to the agent to interact with it. They can go to the normal Copilot experience. So as a user, I'll go to this Copilot experience uh, or as a developer, anyone who, uh, who wants to work with this. In this Copilot experience, I might go and ask question about which products, for example, frequently bought together or something like that. I can ask that generally from Copilot or while I'm asking it, I can say I want to add this agent. So under data agent, I can say, go and consider this agent when you are asking. So if I ask it just generally, uh, it just comes up with a report and agents that have this. If I ask it considering that agent, then it would be attached to my question. And the result that comes with it is dependent on that agent. So normal copilot responds to this question, but this time with the information that I infuse to it using data agent. And as I said, this could be also available for warehouse, for the Power BI semantic model, for lake house, for many other, um, for many other tools that you might use as well. So here is the result of copilot. As you can see, all of these products are in the clothing category. So what, data agent provides for you to do is a way that you can infuse some of the information, some of the human uh, knowledge or business knowledge into uh, generative AI so that you get a better result in your co-pilot experience in Microsoft Fabric. I hope this video helped you to understand how to use data agent in Microsoft Fabric. We'll have more videos on this subject later. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Until the next video, bye.